Hello, this is Mr. Beck. This is part six uh, in the video series on creating a 3D game in the Blender. Um, I guess what we should have now is a sky dome with a platform and some type of structure uh, set up here. Something I'd like to point out is if you uh, play the game and we actually launch spheres at this structure, let me go ahead and see if I can knock something over here, press for a little bit longer. Okay. Um, you see the block doesn't really fall the way you would expect it to. One of the things you can do, but you uh, just want to make sure the game responds the way you want it to, is the physics type over here for the object is set to dynamic. If I set that to rigid body, um, and let me go ahead and set them all to rigid body. Sometimes, you know, rigid bodies won't behave the way you want them to. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, set each of these to rigid body just to see what happens. And I'm going to go ahead and hit P, and everything's okay so far. I'm going to go ahead and launch a sphere into this. And you can already see it's reacting a little bit differently. See the blocks, they fall um, in a different pattern, uh, a little bit uh, more what you would expect, as opposed to maybe having them set to dynamic. Okay, so you may want to go through and set specific pieces of your structure instead of being dynamic to rigid body. So let's get in and add some mouse movement um, to the camera. That'll be the primary goal of this particular tutorial. Um, we're going to go into the scripting interface here. We're going to go ahead and open up a script that I have set up, and this will be linked in the uh, description. I'll give you a link to this particular, um, to both of the Python scripts that are being used here. Um, if you check the uh, descriptions, if you're watching this on YouTube, you'll find uh, links, hopefully, that are active for uh, these particular Python scripts. I'm going to choose Open Text Block. And in my class, you can see we're under Network Drive, Students, Bet Classes, Blender Resources, Python Scripts. We've got one set up here called MouseLook.py. This one is courtesy of a 7th grade student in my class, um, Mr. Poss, who came in. He's a very bright young man. Uh, he came in and he said, Mr. Beck, this is how you need to set this up. And he walked me through this whole process. So um, I didn't figure this one out on my own. I had a 7th grader show me, and, we sort of, uh, and so I'm sort of now showing other people. So I learned this one from a student. Uh, this particular mouse look script does work pretty well. I'm going to right click on the camera and make sure it's selected. Okay. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and it'll be easier for everybody to see if I jump into the game logic here. And uh, I'm going to choose to add a mouse sensor. Okay. And for this particular script, you can look through the script and see where these things are referenced. I'm going to type mouse look. It's real important. That capital L is important there. Okay. Uh, and the mouse event is going to be set to movement. For the add controller, as you may have guessed, we're going to set that to Python. And uh, we're going to tell it to use mouselook.py. And we're going to connect these up. Now we have to have two over here. So uh, under the actuators, and I'm going to create two motion actuators. And the first one, and you can read over the script and you can see it, is called up, down. And the second one is called left, right. And take a look at the capitalization that I've put in there. Up, down, left, right. They have to, so if you set it up just like this, and then under the controller, all right, for the uh, controller type here where it says Python, we're going to change this to C-O-N-T. All right, C-O-N-T, all lowercase right there. And that's how we set up this mouse look script. Okay. Um, and I'm going to connect the dots here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to jump back into my default view. And uh, let's test it. I'm going to hit P to play. And as I move the mouse, you can see the mouse now, the, the camera view now moves. Now, the spheres, they still launch. They don't launch in the direction the camera is pointing. Okay, they still launch along. They, they still have a, an X velocity that is relative to the plane but you can sort of look around from the position that you're looking at. So if I look all the way over here and I launch, you'll notice the sphere still moves off to the left. Okay. 
Um, at this point, I haven't resolved that issue, um, but that's okay. Just the ability to look around with the mouse while you're looking through the camera, I think, is, uh, is good functionality to have at the moment. All right, um, so that's it for part six, uh, setting up the mouse movement. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to um, the scripting editor. And if you, you know, this is going to be linked. I'm going to create a link so people can download this. All right, it's uh, released under Creative Commons, so I feel comfortable doing that. Um, and I'm just going to scroll down, and you know, feel free to pause this at any point if you're unable to find it linked. Um, if you'd like to stop watching the video now, you can. But I'm just sort of giving people a chance to take a look at this script in case sometime, maybe 10 years from now or something, uh, this particular script is no longer linked in the directory that I have it uh, linked in within the show notes. At least we'll have a copy here, a screencasted copy that you can kind of pause through. And uh, you can see how this relates to the uh, logic controllers that I just set up. So there's a quick rundown of the script. Okay, thank you for watching. In the next uh, tutorial, we'll uh, give the camera movement using uh, the keyboard keys W, A, S, and D.